Ball actually voted to go on strike. Ball was the most militant pit in the area. The NUM was solid up to August. Do you remember that, that my nephew scared of couldn't bold, 1984? Yeah, I do, yeah. Steve Stonehouse worked at pits across the Lancashire coalfield. In 1984, he was a bold colliery near St Helens when news came that 20 pits across the country were to be closed because the government saw them as inefficient and unprofitable. He spent a year on the front line picketing. When it first started, two or three police on the gate. And we're talking to them that everything was hunky dory. But as it went on, things were going nastier and nastier and nastier. It was a battleground. Uh, I was arrested four times. They'd just been stood there, but you had once. It gets you there, you know, when you're talking about it. My brother was on strike, I was on strike. My friends was on strike. But I had friends who I worked with, friends I went to school with who went back to work after nine months. And when we went back to work, we, we didn't talk. The Lancashire miners decide not to come out and strike on Thursday. Yeah, what will they do then? We'll be out of money, you can guarantee that. We're not Lancashire miners, us. We're Great Britain miners. One out, all out. And at the time, there was a slogan during the miners' strike, which was, close a pit, kill a community. So it was not just about jobs for the miners, but it was about jobs for everyone in the community. The whole social world of the, um, of the mining villages as well was kind of focused on the pits. The Parkside Colliery Choir was part of that social world, one of just a handful left in the country. There are no miners in it now and numbers have thinned over the years, though it's still going strong. The whole thing was quite sad, to say the least. Industry closing down, and not, not, not just quarries, everything else, um, a big change to their lifestyle, etc. And obviously it split up the workforce and the, the mates, if you wish. Um, so we carry on the tradition. So all my life I was fetched up in a colliery estate. Where it was all minders. At school, 50% of my, my, my mates, the dads worked at pit. But there's an old saying out pit, you look after your mates back because you want it to look after your back. Agecroft is the sole Lancashire colliery still in full production. Here we go, here we go! go. I've never been political before. Uh, we run, you know, the kitchen and we did the food parcels. We went on demonstrations. I went on a picket line. I went to Parkside. I was threatened. Forty years on, Steve and Joan feel as strongly about the strike now as they did then. I still class myself as a miner. I have, it's, it's in you, it's in you, it's in you. And that's what hurts me, how, it, how it, a government can plan to destroy jobs and destroy communities. Carol Lowe, BBC Northwest Tonight. No.